Uh -huh. This is fine. Very loud. Very loud. Allow me to assist you. Allow me to assist you. Is it doesn't matter. Skip, skip unseen content, which means we'll be we'll be replaying some stuff, huh? That is loud. English, please. Fuck, it's hot. Like a circus. Oh, wait, shit. Wait, shit. Probably, uh, hang some stuff around first. This is... Go... Here... At... At... This... All of that... Loop... Here... over here now we're ready to go fuck this looks a little sinister I haven't been to a circus in so long Oh. Oh. Yeah, she's hella dead.
to see it. I the Somnium files. Assuming it has something to do with an eye, you know, considering that lady had an eye missing. Kind of like the logo of the game, day one Friday. Big eye. Boom Park. During investigations, the main character, Date, inspects scenes and collects testimony. Progress by examining objects and talking to people. Date's position is fixed, but you can move the cursor and your view. Try looking around and moving your cursor to find something that catches your eye and inspect it. So, new site. Oh. Can I switch those? I'm using a mouse, so I don't really need to. When you speak to a person, we present them with choices and look. It uses the choices to select a topic of conversation. Look will allow you to observe the person you're speaking to. Victor from Metro. Hope he finds a lead. What's your name? I never thought a great detective like you would ask me my name. It's Kagami, sir. Kagami. It's my duty, sir. Thank you. Not yet, sir. Let me go on. It's Kagami, sir. <laughs> Hey, you, uh, you, you just asked me my name, sir. Why, you forget already? One more time, let's see. Kagami. What's your name? Are you serious? It's Kagami! Oh, okay, I, you know, I was unsure. Might be, dude. But, are you sure? Okay, they know. Let's see. Tab. Contains a number of functions such as file, flowchart, options, and guide. You will all save, but you can save manually with save. If you would like to end the game, you can return to the title screen with top menu in the top right of the screen. Flowchart. Take story progress and branching points. The flowchart is to be filled out. Okay, so yeah, just like with Zero Escape, there is a flowchart, which is pretty good. Are there any control settings? I, I, I don't need... Okay. Well, wouldn't seem like it. Look at a manual save though. Just to get that in the books. Okay, I can... I can hold the left mouse. How's the investigation coming? Not too good, unfortunately. We're not finding much. Boss. Not yet. We just found the victim. Oh, look at this lady. Okay. She's pretty odd. She wouldn't say anything for sure. But this could be a copycat killer at work. From the case six years ago. The case six years ago? For whatever reason, she didn't elaborate. K six years ago. It's unusual for this time of year. It'll be hard to find any usable prints. Are you serious? 
You're Special Agent Kaname Date. You're a member of Abyss, and that means you answer to me. Nice. I love that. I called you here to inspect the scene, Date. Sure, boss. But inspecting dead bodies isn't usually part of the job. Usually, no. But tonight it is. Because you know this woman, don't you, Date? I had to tell you. You deserve to know. Metro got a call about two hours ago. Someone heard screaming coming from the park. Beat cop responded, checked out the scene. And found the corpse. Yeah. Thing is, the caller was anonymous. Anonymous. I'll give you the details later. As they're finishing discussing a topic with someone, they might have new things to talk about. When talking to people, choose topics that interest you. You might obtain information or clues. Clicking log will allow you to recap your previous conversation. Her name's Nadami Shoko. You knew her, right? What was the relationship like? I heard you two have been close for years. I wouldn't say that. We were just acquaintances. She's standing in the pouring rain with an umbrella up. I call her boss. She runs the biz, a special branch of the Metropolitan Police Department. Report directly to her. Okay. The main column holding up the roof. The horse from the merry-go-round. Oh. Middle pole. Control room. The place where the operator system turns the right on and off. Took a look inside, but I didn't see anything that might be a clue. No leads here. The fence up around the merry-go-round. Probably prevent noisy kids from getting caught in the machinery. Machinery, I said. Cause uh the fence. Parasol. And felt it by rain. Skewer doors. It looks like it's skewered. This is not a message from the criminal. Iba. The park was already in this state. My best hypothesis is that this is the result of a teenage prank. Ah shit. Fucking teenagers, dude. Horse is pierced upside down. It's almost pitiful. This is not a message from the criminal. The park was already in this state before the crime. And let's look, look at the corpse. Bodies mounted on one of the horses. I should get a better look. Took a step forward. Ah, sorry, sir. Could you please not get any closer? <laughs> we haven't taken any footprints yet. I appreciate your understanding. Allow me to assist. That's Iba. Her official design designation is Eyeball. I get it. She's an artificial intelligence built into my fake eye. An eye for an eye, huh? Allow me to use AI for an eye. Correct. That will allow you to investigate without physically disturbing the scene. Iba's vision modes. While playing through a story, Iba's special vision modes may help you obtain new information. You can now zoom. Use the zoom mode to enlarge the target. Click zoom and examine the corpse. You can now view the controls in F1. Uh, special mode on. Okay. Oh. Oh, I'm stupid. I 
a sec. Multiple puncture wounds to the front of the torso. Okay, she was probably stabbed a lot. Cause of death, blood loss from these wounds. Body temperature and rigor mortis indicate the time of death was approximately six hours ago. That would place the crime occurring around 5 p.m. No cuts or tears. The victim was probably stabbed with something pointed and smooth, like an ice pick. The left eye socket is vacant. Victim has had her left eyeball removed. Why? Left eye. That's the same eye you have. Fake. The same fake eye. The most likely scenario is that the killer or killers removed it. Well, we don't know that for sure. A crow or some other animal could have pulled it off the corpse. Impossible. The amount of blood indicates that the victim's eye was removed before her death. Okay. Carved it out while she was still alive? Correct. What was that? Analyzing the source of the sound. Sonic analysis indicates the sound originated from inside the merry-go-round central column. It's okay. Central column. Let's get from inside. You zoom to see through the column. Utilize the X ray mode. So I'm there. Oh no. It appears as though someone is inside. Dude, I'm my umbrella and ran to the pillar. Hey, wait! Shut up! Pushed him aside and ran up to the platform. Hey, I know you're in there. If you can hear me, say something. No reply. Small handle on the collar. I grabbed it hard and tried to pull it open. It won't budge. It may be locked from the inside. Damn it. What do we do? Hey, whoever's in there. Stay okay. Back. Suki. Whoa. I know her from the sequel. What's in our dream? What is this place? This is your dream. Okay. I'm me. Correct. You are Date. You are? Uh, what is she doing? You all right? Where do I even start with this? I can answer all of your queries. All right, then. Who are you? I'm me, of course. I'm me, he says. I know that voice. Iba? Indeed. My little eyeball thing? Why do you look like a fluorescent shrimp? What are you talking about? I, I must look so cute that you've lost your mind. Under normal circumstances, I would lecture you about your awful taste, but... What are you doing in my dream? You called me. My consciousness and your own are linked. This is why I appear in your dreams. Consider me an alter ego. Okay. But I shouldn't waste time explaining further. You will have forgotten this by the time you wake up. I will discuss this with you soon, when you're awake. Sort out my situation. Hey, Ocelot. Thanks for the sub, dude. 
three months. I figured I might as well try it out. My head is all fuzzy. Not my usual self. I feel like I'm inside someone else's head. What a strange feeling. Putting that aside, do you recognize this room? No, not at all. I suppose that's fine. Let us begin. Begin what? And what are we doing? Somnium scan. Activate. Hi, but what the fuck are you doing? Hmm. Got it. Got what? I have completed a scan of your Somnium, your dream world. My simulations have encountered several mental locks. Mental locks? Have you already forgotten? Even your critical thinking abilities have dulled. Huh? In short, Somnium is a world built from the deepest recesses of your consciousness. Okay. This world is divided into several layers. Each layer stands upon a foundation, a base component. Think of these foundations as mental blocks, or simply blocks for convenience. Mental locks must be broken before we can proceed deeper into consciousness. The truth is like psychonauts within the deepest layers. Therefore, we must um remove the mental locks. Correct. So I just need to turn on all the lights and open the door. Shouldn't be too hard. Don't be so sure. Appearances in this world can be deceiving. Let's start with the door. Please direct me to the door and give me instructions. I see. So I can do whatever I want with you in this world. Well, I suppose that is true, but... Alright, let's do this! Date Dream World. This strange and surreal dream, trust the light to wake up, Date. Insomnia, you explore a dream to discover the subject's hidden memories. Locking the mental locks will allow you to travel deeper into the dream, and locking all of them will reveal important information. A guide to unlocking the mental locks is displayed in the upper left corner. First, move Iba closer to the door and investigate. Uh. Oh, well, I can walk around. A door locked with a padlock. Investigating things, you can choose from a number of options to give Iba instructions. For now, I'll have Iba investigate the door. It appears all I have to do is open this door. Hmm. I can't touch it. That is to be expected. Dreams are not bound by logic. True. This is Date's Somnium, a reality built by dreams. My Somnium? I see. Your mental faculties must be hazy because your body is currently sleeping. I suppose I will have to explain. Do so. I'd rather you not disturb my precious sleep. Shut up and listen. Date, look at that. The places where the light touches have become colored. Perhaps those parts are now tangible. Every human mind is unique. Every human dream has its own set of rules. I see. If you understand these rules, the dream world itself becomes malleable. Is there a person there? Who was that? I don't know. You must know. This is your dream. It is created from your memories. I don't know what to tell you. I have no idea who that was. Look at that. You may remember upon reflection. I need to give you commands that will unlock the mental locks, right? Indeed. But it is difficult to predict exactly how an object will behave in Somnium. Think outside the box. Trying different actions will help solve the problem. No. Okay. What should I have you do? Don't forget that I have a veto. Somnium World, you were able to investigate options that have a floating name. A new object has appeared. Move Iva over to it and investigate. Okay. Fire 
iris. A winter iris. Winter iris. What? Do you not recognize it? This is an iris that blooms in winter. A flower with a woman's name. Okay. Uh, let's smell it. Hmm. Hey, I didn't know you could smell. I can't. I'm pantomiming. Isn't it easier to visualize this way? Sure. Whatever. Not enough. Pardon? Harder. You gotta smell it harder. What? Uh, okay. Big sniff. Amazing okay. suction. Bravo. Marvelous. What are you experiencing so regularly to cause this to happen in your dreams? You were able to touch it. Correct. So I just need to keep this up? Something like that. You can check your progress on the left side of the screen. Reset it in to clear the Somnium. Well, I mean... Switch is no longer barbed. The thorns are gone. Now I can activate the switch. There's someone there. Isn't this rewarding, Date? Another place you can touch. I would rather be sleeping. Turn on the light. Whoa, what the fuck? You unlock turn the light mental lock. But there's another mental lock in this Omnia. Unlock the next mental lock using the guide. Open the door as a lead. You can always check the tutorial by going to menu, file, appendix. Okay. It's over here. Glass of wine. Uh, have a sip. Leave it to me. Hey, that's not a sip. That's not a sip. That's it. That you are gulping it. Ah. <laughs> I feel kind of good. Why is an AI getting drunk? <laughs> Why do I have to listen to Date diss me all the time? Oh, she's annoying when she's drunk. Someone else can come take her. Okay, the skeleton. A skeleton? It appears to be bleeding from the left eye. Talk? So the skeleton? You just want someone to talk to, huh? True. Hello, my name is Iba. What is your name? How are you? I am currently 92% charged and feeling well. He's hey, not gonna do anything. Don't ignore me. Stupid bony man. Bony man. Your mother is a stupid bony girl. Bony, bony, bony. Are you finished? My disappointment is immeasurable. My day is ruined. Interact with him again. We've already talked to him. Can't interact with the wine again. What's in the basket? A basket. I cannot see inside it. Let's search the basket. A model of a UFO, a stuffed chupacabra, and a one dollar bill. Occult stuff, maybe? Does the occult interest you, Date? The truth is out there. It is a trending topic. Anyone could have encountered items such as these. True. That's true. Somebody's into the occult. This is somewhat different than occult. Standing lamp. It's another flower. A floor lamp shaped like a rose. Pick it up. Ooh, can't move it. Okay. It won't move. It must mean I don't flinch. I hold my ground like a mountain. 
I interpret it more as your irritating personality spreading like pollen in the wind. Okay. Tears, stop. Must be allergies. You're just sleepy. A lamp. It looks. I can kick it. <laughs> okay. You don't have to kick it so hard. Give it everything you've got. That's my motto. Uh, it didn't even budge. I saw the skeleton skull move slightly. Hey, Date, are we gonna get him too? What are you, a thug? Back over here. A skeleton. Fucking hit him, dude. Know this, skeleton. I harbor no grudges against you. Except he's a bony man. Hi. I was like, I walk. Game over. Do you have an irrepressible urge for destruction you've been holding back all this time? Even if I did, adults have to learn moderation, you know. Who is this? Uh, who, yeah, who is that Are guy? you sure you don't know? I don't know. He looks like some old man. You could describe him a little more generously. A hidden item. Insomnia. There's always one somewhere. No more. I can't eat anymore. I'm stuffed. Okay, so all the spots where the light was before are now gone. What? Dante be acquired. Was that the hidden item? That's weird. Gun in a door. A gun came out of the skull? Why is there a gun in this house? This house has a skeleton in it. Anything can happen. I hear it's common in the Kyushu area. In fact, it is said that they place hand grenades in the egg cartons in their refrigerators. Who did you hear that from? Yeah, that's incorrect, I think. I, I really hope so. A gun. It won't go off? Eh, it should be fine. Look at this hot magnum. I could ventilate some crooks with this thing. Don't get excited. Remind you of anyone? No. An artificial intelligence with like. You're kind of a tool a again. Locked with a padlock. Do you think something like a key. this size would fit? Try it. it might fit if you work it in a little. Try just a tip. I suppose. Hmm. I mean, yeah. I see. The gun was the key. Well, well, well. Seems I was key in helping us escape. Okay, that's it. This dream is over. I suppose this dream is over then. Guess I'll wake up now. Good. I'll open it. Okay, that was interesting. What are we gonna learn here? Lady was killed. Dante? Awaken. Okay, 
Okay, we can back up. Day two, Saturday. Police headquarters. Who is this lady? Good morning, Date. I was waiting for you. Bags hanging on a rack. Such a bags are a mess, like for costume parties. One ball's lined up. The cabinet. Shelves. Please offer some Have you met my partner? This is my childhood friend, Mario. Mario? He's a good listener. I tell him all my stories when I get lonely. When I start to worry about boss's mental health. Overall Darcy length of 15.35 inches, width of 8.8, .8, height of 5.35, and a body weight of just a hair over 830 grams. This RC car has friction dampers on the front and rear axles as well. Okay. Uh, how do you know all this stuff? I used to be a flag girl for RC car racing in my glory days. Your glory days? Those were your glory days? Hey, Mario. Nice to meet you. It's to me, Mario. <laughs> Talks? Bosses from Mario. Hmm. Looking at that reminds me of my old boyfriend from high school. It's a strange office you have here. I was a little bit, must have been an athlete. Big catch. Nuki? It's true that a Tanuki's ball sack can stretch up to 10 square feet. Yeah, I, I I wouldn't know. Having it. King Shogi piece. I can't live without coffee. I love it smooth and dark. What does it mean by possibility to make anything sound dirty? I wonder if she does it on purpose. There's a lot of stuff in here. Yeah, we can we can look around some more. Do you ever wonder why we call all our pumpkins Jack? <laughs> what if that pumpkin's name was Bill? Sorry, it was funnier in my head. Come on, boss. Party was a while ago, though. Full of files and binders, but I don't know of what. Got books, manga, movies, games, all sorts of stuff. What is she doing here? Why do you have this? Yeah, so if we're through. trapped down here when World War Three starts, we'll have something to do. We already passed World War Three. Snowboard and skis. Are you familiar with the murder case at the resort called Spur? No. Police poster. Boy band <sighs> poster. Yep. They're all my husbands. Okay. Uh -huh. Boss is single, by the way. Map on the wall. Bug bath door curtain. That's been here a while. I mean, Christmas comes every year, right? It's a pain taking that thing down and putting it up again. Anything else? The Christmas tree. Okay, boss. Let's have a talk. Hey, remember the case you brought up yesterday? The one that happened six years ago? Date, forget about it. What? It's been a long time since I've been at a crime scene, and I got a little carried away. And look, it was a slip of the tongue, okay? Shouldn't have said anything. 
What happened six years that ago? That just makes me want to know even more. That case has nothing to do with this one. But it might. Last night you said this could be a copycat crime. Yes, that's my point. It might be a copycat killer, but it can't be the same killer. That's impossible. Literally impossible. So it's not necessary for you to know about past cases. It would only cloud your judgment. I don't accept that. Just give it up, Date. Okay. Where do you think you are, Agent? Metro Police Building in Kasumigaseki. Chiyoda District, Tokyo. Underground. We're six stories underground. Yeah, what about it? No windows. It's suffocating in here. Dark and dreary all the time. So, I try to make my office colorful. Liven things up a little. It's like a party, right? I want it to feel fun in here. That's not a bad reason. Who do you think I am, Date? Uh, you're my boss? Commander of Abyss, Metropolitan Police Department? I mean, my name. Huh. I honestly don't know. I've been calling you boss for six years, so... Trust me, it's been more than six years. Suffer from a memory disorder. I don't remember anything past six years ago. So we probably have something to do with that case six years ago. In flashback recently, fragments of my past. What does your name have to do with our investigation? Because if you knew me well enough, you wouldn't have to ask. Ah, huh. so nothing to report then. Got it. Uh, wait. Uh... I wouldn't tell you even if my life depended on it. Even if you took me to the finest club in Kabuki Cho and showered me in Dom P. Ooh, my Kabuki Cho. But why, boss? It's top secret, classified. It was that bad, huh? If that's how you want to interpret it. One more time? Give it a rest. You keep prying into this, and I'll hit you with a sexual harassment complaint. This isn't harassment. Or sexual. <laughs> I can make it sexual. It appears you wouldn't have an issue with that. I can detect your thoughts, remember? Hey, hey, hey. Don't call me out. Thank you for your input, Iva. Interrogators say she hasn't said a word since we found her. The doctors say she's traumatized. She can't speak. She's seeing a specialist at Central Hospital right now. Okay. Did you take her to the hospital after we found her? Yeah. Were you with her this whole time? You're like her legal guardian then. No. She just lives with me. How is she there? Mizuki Okiora. Probably found an America round. She's 12 years old in the sixth grade. Certain circumstances brought us to live together, but we aren't blood related. Sort of like a stray cat that found her way into my home. In any case, we're not going to get anything from her. Have you picked up Renju yet? He's at a police station nearby being interviewed. He's not a suspect yet, just standard procedure stuff. Renju is Shoko's ex-husband and Mizuki's father. Not to mention an old friend of mine. I wonder what Renju was doing last night. I did call him a few times. He didn't answer. He didn't? No. The local police tried his phone too, but they got the same result. No one was able to get a hold hmm. of him until this morning. We he probably did too. The situation to no, him. he just said he's a had him verify police office. Shoko's corpse. And naturally started asking him questions. I don't know if I would call them leads. What about the ice pick? The one we found in Mizuki's hand? Mm -hmm. We were able to identify the manufacturer, but it's sold nationwide. It would be impossible to pin down the buyer. Why didn't she live with her parents? <sighs> Damn. Is Renju like an asshole? We did determine that the shape of the pick and the puncture wounds on the victim match perfectly. We also discovered that the blood on the pick is the victim's. Meaning that ice pick was probably the murder weapon. Almost definitely. Just promise me you'll let this go, okay? It's a delicate issue. Even more delicate than my patients. So drop it. That's an order. Understood? The pick Mizuki was holding? No. The only prints on it are hers. The evidence is really stacking up against her. No. She couldn't have done it. That's impossible. 
Well, then you better hurry up and clear her. She is important to you, right? Let's see. We have some more information about the victim, Shoko Nadami. It's up on the okay. database. Although it's probably nothing you don't already know. Well, maybe not. I haven't seen her for over a year. Still, you know more about her than anyone else on the case, right? It's part of the reason why I assigned you to this. Nadami Shoko, 36 years old. Female, residence, Maguro District. Okay. Met Date Kaname five years ago through her husband, Okiura Renju. Date and Renju were so-called old drinking buddies. Mind in parentheses. Renju and Shoko had one child together. A daughter named Mizuki, the prime suspect of this case. Four years ago, they were divorced. Shoko mm. returned to using her maiden name, Nadami. I should also give you this. It's what a picture it? of Shoko. Oh. You'll need this when you're trying to get information, right? <sighs> Since you don't have a cell phone. I don't have a cell phone. Took Shoko's picture and put it in my pocket. The person questions. who reported the screaming? Right. Unfortunately, not yet. What's the holdup? They didn't identify themselves over the phone. But you should have a location by now. No. Nope. All we know is that it was a payphone. A payphone? That's odd. It is unusual. Whoever it was clearly didn't want us knowing their identity. It may have even been the killer. True. Okay, don't don't do that. That's weird. Hello. No, not hello. I told you not to just pop out of nowhere like that. I do not understand your concern. Boss knows me by now. Well, still. It was really odd. Okay, I think this is a good place to stop because I'm in real hot and I want to cool off before I have to do this podcast. So, let's save for one. And see who we can raid. Who's live right now? Doing stuff. Uh, let's open full. Just who is live? Open image. What are you doing? I'm gonna rate Clock, who's playing uh, Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. Not really a game I'd play, but I like Clock, so I'll send you guys over there. Might come back later, depending on how late things run, but until then, I hope you have a good rest of your day. Here we go, baby.